Hello all, welcome back to the series on system backlog. So in this session, we will uh, discuss about the queues. So we will uh, see some examples of queues with the help of coding and we will try to understand. So let us discuss this examples of queues in system backlog. So before that, we will create a module called uh, Q underscore example and q underscore example and in this uh, module let me declare a queue of int data type so let's say int q1 and how to declare a queue with dollar symbol so this is a queue and i will declare one more queue of in data type only q2 of dollar so this dollar symbol indicates it's a queue okay now so after declaring the queue, uh, I can insert the elements into the queue by this method q1 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So I should first declare a initial begin block and insert that initial begin and end. Okay. So within an initial beginning block, what I'm doing, I'm basically uh, inserting the elements into the queue one, two, three, four, five, and let me display these elements. Display the elements in the queue are percentage p. It's an unpacked array, so the format will be percentage p comma q1. So let us see what we are getting at the display. Let me save this and compile this. Compile selected. Uh, we are getting an error. Let me check what is. Yeah, I, I haven't declared the uh, end module. So let me declare end module here. End module. Right. Now let me compile it again. Yeah. And let me simulate it. So simulate. Start simulation. Work. Q underscore example, Q underscore example, enter. Yeah. And let me run this. Yeah. So we can see here, so the elements in the queue are one, two, three, four, five. So I've inserted the so I created a queue and inserted the elements one two three four five. Okay. Now let's see some built-in methods which are present inside this queue. Okay. So as discussed in theory sessions, we will see in practical also how to use this uh, in uh, built-in functions. Okay. So let me zoom in. Now. Let us see how to use this insert built-in function, which is present here. So how to use insert function. So just simply write the queue name followed by insert, followed by the index where you want to insert that. Let's say, suppose I want to insert an element at the index one, followed by the element which you want to insert, let's say 10. Okay. And let me display this uh, updated queue dollar display the updated value of q is percentage p is percentage p comma q1 okay let me compile this and let me check what we are getting so let me compile this yeah compilation successful let me simulate it start simulation and in the work Q underscore example. Yeah, let me run this. So here we can see uh, an element 10 is being inserted after the index 1. Okay, so basically q1 dot insert 1 comma 10 
it will insert an element after the index one okay so like this the element will be inserted now let me end the simulation and if i want to insert any any element at the front of the queue then what function can i use i can use push underscore front okay so if i want any element to be inserted at the first position then i can use push underscore front function so how to use this just simply write the queue name dot push underscore front 20 and let me again display the statement dollar display the value of q after performing push underscore function is percentage p comma q1 okay so this is what i will get displayed next next function we will discuss that is delete function okay so if i want to delete a particular element then i can use this delete function for example if i want to delete the uh, element which is present at second index so what i can do so i will display it directly dollar display or else i will write it separately q1 dot delete of uh, two okay i want to delete the index uh, sorry, I want to delete the element which is present at the index. Two, okay, dollar display the value of the Q after performing delete operation is percentage P comma Q1. Okay, let us check the this two results. Before that, we should compile this project. Compile selected and simulate. Start simulation. Work. In this, uh, we should search for Q underscore example. Enter. Yeah, let me run this. Here we can see, uh, let me zoom in. So the value of Q after performing push underscore function is 20, 1, 10, 3, 4, 5. And I want to de uh, delete this uh, element 10. Okay. So what I've done 20, uh, just I've written Q1. Uh, I will show that Q1 dot delete of 2. Okay. The element which is present at index 2. So I have written Q1 dot delete of 2. So it has got deleted. Okay. So this is how we will use our insert function, push underscore front function and delete function. Now, what if I want to insert any element at the end of the queue? So let us see that. So we can use a function called pop okay we can sorry we can use a function called push underscore back okay so this will basically push an element from the back of the queue so into the back of the queue so let's see q1 dot push underscore back uh, let's say i want to insert an element 30 and let me display this also dollar display the value of the q after performing push underscore back operation is percentage p comma q1 dot so only q1 okay next let's see one more function which is removing the element from the front of the queue that is pop underscore back so if we perform this operation then the element will be removed from the top of uh, front of the queue that is the first element will be removed or popped out 
so the syntax for that is q name followed by pop underscore front so by performing this operation what happens the first element of the queue will be removed so let us check using the display statement dollar display the value of the queue is percentage p comma q1 okay next let us see pop underscore sorry this is pop underscore front and we have one more function called pop underscore back which removes the element from the back of the queue that is the last element will be removed out pop underscore back function so how to use this q1 dot pop underscore back right so let me display this also Now let's display the value of uh, Q after performing pop underscore back operation is percentage P comma Q1 dot Q1. Okay. So let us check this following outputs. Before that, let me compile this and simulate it. Work. Q underscore example and let me run this yeah so here the value of Q after performing push underscore function is 20 so the element uh, we are pushing and delete yeah so push underscore front we are inserting the element 20 uh, in the code we can see push underscore front of 20 so the element is getting inserted and delete the element is getting deleted the second element is getting deleted and uh, q after pushing push underscore back operation we are pushing an element from the back okay the element is 30 and uh, next the value of q after performing pop underscore uh, front okay so we have removed the element 20 which is at the first index and next the value of q after performing pop underscore back operation that is the last element which we have removed so like this we can uh, perform or we can use all these built-in functions push underscore back pop underscore front push underscore back push underscore uh, front insert delete delete of index okay so these are all the built-in functions which are available in queues